Hey, this is Cameron Humphreys from Humphreys Outdoor Power. Today I've got on my Dixie Chopper shirt and that means we're going to dive into everything Dixie Chopper. We always get a lot of questions about what they're doing right now, so we're going to get into it. We're going to look at some of their product offerings, some of the stuff that they've been offering, some of the new stuff they're going to offer, and kind of what's down the pipeline. So hang with us. We're going to start to dive in and see what's going on with Dixie Chopper. One of the questions we get from time to time is, is Dixie Chopper back? And the answer to that question is absolutely 100%. Now, I don't know if when people ask that, if they're meaning, are they still making lawnmowers or are they actually back here in Fillmore uh, where they started originally? But the answer to both is yes. So in 2019, Dixie was purchased by Rhino Ag. They briefly moved manufacturing to Illinois, but have since moved it back here to Fillmore which is just down the road from us here in Greencastle, short little drive, and that's actually where they're producing all their lawnmowers. In fact, they still offer all of the same models that they had been for the past previous years. And these range all the way down from the residential Z2 and Z2 HP to the Blackhawk and Blackhawk HP, which are more of a prosumer model, kind of in between that residential and commercial grade level, all the way up to the Eagle, the Eagle HP and the Classic, which are those traditional commercial grade Dixie choppers that we've known and loved for years and years. And then even also the Excaliburs, which they would consider industrial grade, uh, which come in unique sizes, 66 inch, 74 inch, all of our commercial cutters love. Now last year, they kind of made a faux pas and got rid of some of the features that everybody liked, not limited to, but including the suspension kits on the front. We can take a look at one of those back here these Springer forks were removed last year. However, they are back this year. That is a feature that all of our commercial guys loved. They were sad to see it go away. And guess what? We heard you, we brought it back. In fact, because of the droughty conditions we had last year, it was a pretty down year for lawn mowers in general. That means I have more 2023 carryovers from last year. So I've got a bunch of really good deals on 2023 Dixie choppers. Uh, still available today. So if you are in the market for this year for a new lawnmower, I think Dixie Chopper would be an excellent place to start. They obviously have a reputation for being one of the best manufactured lawnmowers on the market, mowing super fast while keeping you comfortable and putting a quality cut on your yard. But I think one of the coolest things about Dixie Chopper is that they're made here in Indiana, specifically a few miles east of us in Fillmore there aren't very many locations in the US where you can actually buy local and get a world-class machine. And I think that's really cool if you live in Indiana to have the opportunity to buy local and get an amazing machine that can compete with anybody in the market. In addition to being located locally, a benefit of that is that we can have access to their parts just about any time we need them. The factory is just down the road. If there's anything you need, we can get it done for you. So all of that said, we love Dixie Chopper around here. We love them for all the things that they have done in the past, all of their lawn mowers and their world-class organization uh, that keeps everybody's yard around here looking great. But it does beg the question, and a question we get often is what are they doing lately? What's new? We know the Classic, we know the Eagle, we know the Z2, but what are they doing differently now? And that's where we get into the kind of cool new stuff that they're doing with the Talon series. So they've got the new Talon series, and within that product line, they've got the Talon MS, which is a mini skid loader, and the Talon RC, which is an RC unit used primarily for very dangerous mowing situations. We're gonna start in on the Talon MS mini skid loader. With 700 pound operating capacity, this thing is utilizing the synergy of Dixie Chopper's parent company, Rhino Ag, and Dixie Chopper branding to give you an awesome stand-on mini skid steer unit that has skid steer quick attach, several different attachments you can put on the front. There's unlimited things you can do with it. It has been a very cool and exciting new piece of equipment. The new Talon RC might be even cooler, although it may not apply to your specific needs. This is a remote controlled lawnmower, 44 inches wide with tracks that can, is designed to mow dams and dangerous areas. It can mow up to a 55% grade safely, keeping the user nearly 500 feet away from the danger 
while it can take care of very heavy brush. This is gonna be a great unit for municipalities, dams, that kind of situation where it's really not safe to put a person on a lawnmower. What I love about this is it takes Dixie Chopper's core strength of beautiful quality cutting machines and incorporates a new technology brought in by Rhino Ag. These are the two newest things from Dixie Chopper to come out of Fillmore in a while. We're very excited to be able to broaden the Dixie Chopper line and have a few more offerings for our customers. So that's been our pretty brief overview of what's going on with Dixie Chopper. They're the same old company that's making amazing lawn mowers. They're still making amazing lawn mowers and they've got a few new products to add to the lineup. Make sure to leave a like on this, on this video. Make sure to leave a comment of any specific model breakdowns you wanna see. We'll try to get to those in a little bit. And always make sure to subscribe for more content. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.